Hello and welcome. Today for Cars with Curtis featuring Trayvon for this special episode we take a look at two different cars as you've seen in the title. One of them we talked about before being one of my favorite ones. The McLaren P1. And that being the brilliant British car made by McLaren. The P1 being the hybrid supercar. And this here being the Pagani Zonda R, which is made by Pagani, <laughs> and is one of Trayvon's favorite cars. Mm -hmm. Now, I know a lot about my car already and I don't really have anything else to look up. He still has to look some stuff up. So I'm going to go first. Here it is. The McLaren P1. And... By looking at this car, it's purple. Now, this car is really cool. If you look at it, um, on the back here we have the hydraulic spoiler, which can raise itself and adjust itself depending on how fast you're going. So when you get into speed, the spoiler starts to raise itself up. When you hit a certain speed, it goes and lowers itself back down a bit because if it kept going and it stayed that high up, it would rip itself off while you're driving down the road and destroy your car. So it's on a hydraulic thing that it raises up and lowers back down. Very similar to the Bugatti Veyron. Just better. Even though it's slower. Because the Bugatti has been annoying. Uh, so, as you see, you got the fancy lights there. It curves down and everything. This here truly is quintessentially British. Um... So, let's take a quick look, another look at this car, when they first showed it at the Geneva Motor Show in 2013. Here it is. Look at that car, though. Just look at how brilliant that looks. Um, this car has 903 horsepower. Okay. This thing's top speed is 217 miles an hour, which I feel like most supercars top out around 217. I mean, obviously, you have the McLaren F1, which they made in the 90s, which could go 240. You have the Bugatti Veyron, which can go 260, 250, 260. Uh, and then you have the Hennessy Venom, which can go 270. Besides that, this here really tops out at one of the good spots. Um, it can go 0 to 60 in about 3 seconds. Gear would take a bit, 2.8. 3, 3.2, something like that. Um, 0 to 186. Uh, it's a very interesting number because they transfer the number from whatever. Um, but it takes about 17 seconds and you can get up to 186 miles an hour. Which is quite interesting. Um... This car is an electric car, so that means it's hybrid. Well, I mean it's electric, and it's got a gas engine, so it's it being a hybrid car, uh, it has to compete with some other great cars. The um, Ferrari La Ferrari. Basically, I just said the Ferrari the Ferrari. Um, the Porsche 918. And also, I forgot what Ferrari's new one is, but I did a re review of it before. Okay, they made 375 of these. They're all sold out, so you can't buy one if you have $1.15 million to buy this car. You still can't buy it. Um, and interesting, the first person to get one in America is Jay Leno. Now, before we get into the alternate version of this, we're going to take a quick look at this. Now, this here is the design of the car, okay? Now, I know we've talked about the McLaren P1 before. You're probably like, stop going on about the McLaren P1 all the time. But this is why, okay? This here is an amazing car. Okay? Every part of it that's green is the electric part. Every part of it that's gray is the part that's powered by gas. Okay? Right here, this part here is the batteries of the car. 
That's what you charge up these batteries. Now you can't go very far in the batteries. It's new technology. Past few years they came out with these hybrid cars, hybrid supercars, so they're new. But this battery you can go about nine miles. <laughs> but it's still very good. Down here is the electric motor, which the battery runs. You can run on the electric motor, and also this will power the batteries as you go along. So you can sort of switch between the batteries and the um, engine. And it also has to compete with the Fisker Karma, which nobody makes anymore, so it doesn't really have to compete with that. Um, it has a dual-clutch 7-speed gearbox, which is very good for if you're shifting. And it has a uh, 3.8 liter twin-turbo V8 engine. So very powerful car this is. Very interesting. Now, what McLaren has done, I think is brilliant. To those people that bought this car, like Jay Leno and Mary, many other people, they have offered them, and only those people exclusively, one car. They offered them this. This here is the McLaren P1 GTR. Now, this here would compete with the car that Trevon's going to tell you about in being a car that you can only take on a track. Okay, these are track-only cars that we're talking about now. The McLaren P1 you can take on the road, but the McLaren P1 GTR and the Zonda R, that's what that is, right? Yeah, the Zonda R, you cannot take on the road. Similar to the Sesto Lamento, which I also like to talk about a lot. As Trayvon knows, it's one of my favorite cars also. This McLaren P1 GTR. Only people that own a McLaren P1 can buy this car. That's the only people that McLaren offered to buy it. So if you're rich enough, you bought the McLaren P1. They sent you a letter saying, Here you go, buy this car. We will give this car, we will make this car and sell it to you if you want to buy it. So, people being rich enough that bought it. I'm pretty sure one of them said, of course. So, what you got to do for this car? They'll sell it to you. Okay, they'll build this whole thing. The fancy spoiler. Now, this one here doesn't raise and adjust. It's still hybrid. This thing here has more horsepower than the other car did. And it's got even better stats than the other car. And they will let you uh, have it. The only thing is, is you can only have it at a track. So, you can go to a track. Any track you can go to, you can bring this car. Similar to the Sesto Elemento and the Zonda R, you bring them to a track, and you can drive them around, you can do what you want. But if you drive it on the road, you cannot insure these vehicles for the road. Now, before Trayvon gets ready to tell you about his car and his car-telling informational video debut, um, which is back to the good old days of these videos, when I used to do them with the Blue Summer videos, the... Auto challenge. No, <laughs> no, but um, so here it is. No, that was actually full of competition. Um, if you just look at this, this here's the front of it. It looks truly evil. This car looks. It's just like I will eat you alive, and then spit you back out, and then eat you again to make sure you're fully destroyed. Cause look at this thing, the big front intake, the thing on the hood. Spoiler, just looking over the back like, you're going to learn today, you know, it's it's ready, it's ready. So, that is the McLaren P1 and the McLaren P1 GTR. And now, Trayvon's going to tell you about the Zonda, the Pagani Zonda R. Take it away, Trevin. So, here we have the Pagani Zonda R. A, well, I would just say an amazing car, because, well, one, you don't see a lot of it, and as Curtis said, you don't, you can't see it on the street, you can't get insured. Exactly. This car has an engine made by Mercedes-Benz, the AMG, a six gear, that can go up to from 0 to 62 miles per hour, or 0 to 100 kilometers in 2.8 seconds. So, very similar to the P1. Yep. 
and it maxes out at 220 miles per hour. But faster than the P1. And also, it has 750 horsepower. <clears throat> All in this engine. All clicking. beyond that. You just hear clicking in the background. <laughs> and all this for around two million nine hundred thirty thousand dollars. There you go. The McLaren P1 is a steal of one point one five million dollars. That is a steal. <laughs> but they don't really make them much more. They don't make them. They don't make, they don't make any of them. They don't actually. make any car that we're talking about right now anymore. Yeah, basically, you have to be the rich person to buy any of those cars at all. <laughs> yeah, this, this show really brings you down to earth. Yeah, you um, really buy. it's just basically. Oh, you want this car? No, you don't I can't it. even buy an Xbox One. <laughs> yeah, I honestly couldn't even pay for this car. For the mirror on that car. Heck, probably couldn't even pay for the light bulb in it. Actually, you probably couldn't even pay for where the uh, where it says Zonda on it because they forged it from aluminum. And this car is not made of uh, just carbon fiber. Now you're looking at the lines where like, oh, it's blurry. No, that's the lines of carbon fiber. Now, for this car, they don't just use carbon fiber. They use carbotanium, mm -hmm. which is a mix of carbon fiber and titanium. Which is actually pretty interesting. You ask me. Yeah. You learn something new every day. And uh, for the Sesto Elemento, that's Sesto Elemento is Italian for sixth element. Mm. The Sesto Elemento uses carbon fiber and plastic. So, so. any more stats about this car? Um, it's fun to. Top speed, I already said that. What year was it, it made? 2009. It's a bit old, <laughs> but, this but whenever you get a car from 2009 and it looks like this, especially from behind, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't care whenever it was made. I'm going to show you a picture of a car that was made in 2005. And it's probably going to be the best car I've ever seen, or at least up there. And you tell me what you think about this car. I can open a new tab. Tell me if you care if this car from 2005. The Bugatti. Do you care if 2005. I, I wouldn't even know that was from 2005. Exactly. You wouldn't even care either. Yeah, you wouldn't care. You, all you would be knowing is that you're driving it and you're loving it. And also another one to tell about years of cars. I'm going to show you a car. From the 90s. The 90s. The 90s were good years. I was born in the 90s. <laughs> I was a 90s baby. We both were. Oh yeah. 90s represent. I mean the end of the 90s, but still. We were there. It's still the 90s. I was there for 11 months. Mm -hmm. Okay. The first car in this picture. Made in the early 90s. Almost. The silver car. Tell me if you care. I do care, but actually at the same exact time I don't. You don't even care. That, that was the fastest car until the Bugatti came along. That what car is, this? is the McLaren F1. The McLaren P1 was the one that replaced it. This car can go 240 miles an hour. The um, orange car next to it is the McLaren F1 GTR, which we've seen the P1 being the replacement for that one. Mm-hmm. So, do you care? No. Exactly. So that car that you have there is new compared to this one. Exactly. But still, that car is still amazing. Like, who wouldn't want any of those cars? Exactly. I don't even care. Like, the, probably of all the cars that I showed, the least one that I probably would want would be the Bugatti. Mm -hmm. It seems too... Look at me, I have the most expensive car. Look at me, I'm so big, I'm so bad. Well, guess what? Go put that back away. So, not really much other that I can say about it other than... Because he doesn't know! It was, it was shown off at the J1 
Geneva Motor Show in 2007, which is actually shocking that they actually had this car going on two years before it was actually produced. That's the same with the McLaren P1. They showed it in 2013. I mean, even though it was 2013, they finally got it produced by, all of them were produced by 2014. Mm -hmm. It's considered a 2014 car because it was production being 2014. And I think they're still producing it now, but they're all sold. Mm -hmm. Like, they're sold before they were made. Yeah. Heck, even, there was only actually 15 of these cars ever made. Right. Now, what Pagani had done for years is they had promised the final Zonda. The final Zonda for like five years. Okay, <laughs> they started making this in 1999, the Pagani Zonda. In like 2005, they're like it's the final Zonda, the final final Zonda. 2007, this one here is supposed to be the final send off Zonda. 2010, they made like a special like one that they only made three of. The send off Zonda. It took on until 2012 to finally stop making this car and re replace it with the Huayra. And even then, in 2013, they made another version of the Zonda. It's been the first car they ever made for Pagani. Mm -hmm. It's a brilliant car. And uh, they've been saying for years they're going to get rid of it. And what is the final Zonda called? I don't know. I'm going to look it up. Because the last one I am to have record of is the Zonda Revolution. Right after the R. Came out in 2014? Yep. Yeah. Get a picture of it? Oh, don't worry, I got one. And for all of you, the Zonda Revolution. And I failed that badly. There it is, made in 2014. The final Zonda. Now, back in for 2010. Now. They made the final edition Zonda. 2014, they finally made the final edition Zonda. And is that going to be final? Who knows? They might have another one. Now, I do want to show... No, they're actually ending in 2015. Oh my gosh. Oh god. So. So from 1999 to 2015, they announced the production ending in like 2005. Yes. So, they announced the final production being 2011, a few special editions coming in 2012, in 2015 they made a couple more, so this kept going. Yes. So, Pagani did not want to let this car die. Now, most companies, it's always sad when they end their cars, like... Oh no, our car's ending. What will we do? No, I mean, they've had these great cars, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, you can look at... That one's not the right size. Crap. Um, I mean, here's a car for you, though. You might think this is interesting. You might like it. The replacement for the Zonda is this. It's called the Huayra. The Huayra. H-U-A-Y-R-A. H-U-A-Y-U-A? Y R A. Now this one here is for the uh, like South American God of Wind or something. That's what it's named after. But overall, it's really a cool car. Now let me show you another car that a company was said to let go of. <laughs> the company that makes the engine of this themselves. Mercedes. Yes, they had a brilliant car. The one of those cars. This the Mercedes Benz SLS AMG. That's a pretty nice car. And I like how it says Bentley in the front of it. Though. <laughs> the, the plate. They must have been from a Bentley dealer. Yeah. Either way, this here, they were only going to make it for three years, ended up going one more year. They made it start in 2010 and ran in 2013. They finally finished in 2014. There you go, mm. another car they didn't want to let go. They didn't carry it out like Pagani did, but. Uh, oh, with final one all the way back then. Now, a company that had their greatest car, but they still ended it anyways. Mm hmm. 
Here it is, if I can get you a picture. <laughs> I think I would just want to offer a chorus from that. I don't have any relevance to it. Yeah. This here, the Lamborghini Girl Auto, they made this one here. Uh, Lamborghini got rid of it in 2013, I believe. 2014. And they replaced it with what I think is a brilliant car, as you uh, may know if you play video games. You might know this car. Oh, let's see it. You know, from a specific game on the Xbox. Forza. Yep. The Lamborghini Huracan, or Uvercan, whatever the hell you want to call it. <laughs> it's supposed to be Uvercan, but you're supposed to pronounce the H like an O. But you can say it Huracan, right. but whatever you want to call know. it. It's brilliant looking, and it's truly an awesome car. As you know, we did this as one of our, as actually the first car of this series. Talking about it. Uh, but there you go. Two cars and many other cars. Mm -hmm. But there you have it the Pagani Zonda R and the McLaren P1. Both brilliant cars. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And have a nice night. Have, have a great day. Great life. Enjoy. No, but they might be watching it in like Australia. And they it's might. morning right now. It could be. They could be watching this in Argentina, and it's actually a bit later, er, earlier, by like an hour and a half. But still, well, who cares? They're in the same, almost at the same time zone. Cause they're, <laughs> almost. Who cares about time zones anymore? <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for watching.